Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install Xbox Game Pass game from Xbox App or Store if you are receiving this error code 0x8024001E or if you are receiving this error that is 0x807046. So please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, before performing any troubleshooting steps, first of all, you can try to resume the installation. You can try it multiple times. If you receive error again, then retry once again. So try re, uh, retry multiple times and then you can check. Now the next step is to run gaming services repair tool. Now for this, you can go to Xbox app at the top left here. You can see a profile. I can click on it, then go to support and then click on gaming services repair tool. Click on start repairing. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. This process will take some time. And once this is done, now you can close this and then you can check. Still not working, you can run gaming services repair tool from the website. So you can go in Google search, you can type in gaming services repair tool, click on gaming services repair tool for PC, go to the official Microsoft website, this Xbox website. Here you can see downloadable version, scroll down and then click on download the gaming services repair tool for PC and run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. This process will again take some time. And once this is done, you will see completed successfully. So once you see this completed successfully, now you can try to relaunch Xbox app. So make sure that you reopen Xbox app and then you can check still not working. The next step is to log out and log in with correct account on store and Xbox app. So go to store at the top right. You will see a profile icon. Click on it, then click on sign out and then click on sign in. Select the account which has the game pass. Select the right account and then it will be asking for your pin or password. So enter your pin or password over here. And then go to Xbox app. Do the same thing. Top left. Click on your profile icon. Go to sign out and then click on sign in select the same account which you have selected in microsoft store so it has to be same account and once you're logged in now you can try to check still not working the next step is to make sure date time time zone is correct on your computer so at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time make sure set time zone automatically is on also make sure set time automatically is also on and then click on sync now sync now is important so click on sync now and then go to yeah you can click on sync now multiple times if it, uh, it doesn't syncs now go to time and language and go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then reopen xbox app and then check next step is to go to microsoft store library or downloads and try installing the game from there so open microsoft store you can go to downloads option over here if you see the game over here in downloads you can try to install it from microsoft store you can even go to library and if you see the game in library uh, you can try to install the game from library if you see it over here you can try to install it here you can see yeah i have update option or something like that. so you can try to install it from here and then you can check i will not install it now Still you are facing the problem, run this power cell command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this command. And then type in C uh, power cell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows power cell. And then make sure that you open power cell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow, paste the command over here, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. And during this process, uh, you will see some errors in red color. So just ignore these errors. And once this is complete, everything will be red. Once this is complete, then, then you have to relaunch Xbox app or store and then try to install it. Next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache. Now for this, open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open Users folder, Username folder, App Data. If you don't see your App Data over here at the top, click on View, Select Show, put a check on Hidden Items and then open App Data folder, Local folder, open the Packages folder and find Microsoft Store, Microsoft Store Windows. Uh, 
Microsoft Microsoft Windows Store, something like that. You will see. Let me check. Here you can see Microsoft dot windows store underscore some alphanumeric character open this folder here you can see local cache folder make a right click and delete it and then you have to relaunch store or xbox app and then try to install it still not working run this ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box click on ws reset and this will reopen microsoft store and then try to install it next step is to repair or reset xbox app or store so type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app then click on app settings over here Scroll down uh, at the bottom. First of all, click on terminate and then click on repair. And once the repair is done, relaunch Xbox app and then check. If that does not work, you can click on reset. Read this reset. And once the reset is done, now you can relaunch Xbox app and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store go to downloads option now over here if you see you will see check for update option click on check for update and you will see update all options so update everything over here once the update is complete then relaunch xbox app or store and then check next is to install xbox identity provider now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see xbox identity provider click on download and then it will prompt you to open microsoft store so open microsoft store if xbox identity provider is not installed you will see install button over here or get button in my case it is already installed so it's saying installed now you can check still not working the next step is to uninstall gaming services from your computer so copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in powercell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powercell and make sure that you open this as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer and once this is done now install gaming services once again now now for this uh, you can paste the second command and then hit the enter key it will open microsoft store in your computer and then you will see the get option or install option to install gaming services click on yes to allow and let the download complete once gaming services is installed you have to relaunch xbox app or microsoft store and then you can try to install it and then check still not working the next step is to start all these services now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find xbox services at the bottom here you can see four xbox services make a double click on each one of them one by one startup type automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again make a double click over here set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted again make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again automatic apply start click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find gaming services in the list make sure gaming services are running if not running make a right click if start is highlighted click on start or you can click on restart again make a right click on gaming services and then again click on restart or start now find microsoft store install service make a double click and then set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and then check next step is to run inet cpl dot cpl command so type in inet cpl dot cpl in windows set box click on inet cpl dot cpl go, go to the advanced tab scroll down over here you can see use tls 1.0 use tls 1.2 1.2 1.3 make sure 
all 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1 all four are checked over here. And then make sure that you hit apply and then click on OK and then check. Next step is to try installing the game to different drive or C drive. Now for this, you can go to Xbox app. Let me reopen it. Go to Xbox app and then go to your profile icon and then click on uh, settings option and then go to uh, install options and you can try to change the drive. If you have any other drive like D drive or E drive, try to select different drive and then check. If that does not work, open Windows settings and then go to system and then go to storage option and scroll down, click on advanced storage settings select where new content is saved and then over here you can select uh, if the game is installing in C drive try to install it on D drive or E drive external drive if if you are already trying to install it on external drive or D drive or E drive try selecting C drive make sure that you click on save and then you can try to install it next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app and store so type in Xbox app in Windows search box make a right click on Xbox app and then click on uninstall uninstall now once the uninstall is complete uh, you can go to microsoft store and in the search box you can just type in xbox app and then go to xbox app and then you will see the get option um, i don't know why it's asking for me make sure that you're logged in over here with the right account and you have to log in with same account on store and xbox app and then install it and once the installation is done you can check you can even install xbox app if you face any problem you can install xbox app from from the website from the website you can go to xbox website which says xbox app for pc go to the official website and then you will see the download option to download xbox app here you can see download the app and once the download is complete you can run this exe file and this will install it and then you can check Next step is to uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store. Now for this, copy this command and then type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. This is important and then click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here and then hit the entry key. This will uninstall X, uh, Microsoft Store from your computer and then you can reinstall Microsoft Store. So copy this command. This command is also provided in the video descript description. Now paste the command and then hit the enter key. Now the store will be installed. Now you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows using media creation tool. So if nothing is working, you can use media creation tool. You can go to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. Now scroll down here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download now and run this exe file. Now once you run this exe file, uh, you will click on yes to allow and you will see the screen. Click on accept over here and then click on uh, by default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next select iso file over here click on next and then you can set the location as desktop then click on save then let the download complete this process will take some time and once this is done click on finish and let this close automatically and then you can go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then you will see the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow and then click on next accept by default here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install after the installation log into the computer and then you can launch xbox app and then try to install the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install the game successfully from xbox app or store and you should not receive that those errors anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time please like this video and subscribe to my channel